Podcast. I am Dr. Kyla Frusak, Principal at Manette Elementary, and I'm excited to share with you the voices of real educators who are living this work. When I think about the greatness that is happening every day in schools all over the world, I feel compelled to do a small part in helping others understand the many facets of the work we do. We hope our listeners will be able to gain an inside look as we pull back the curtain. We are back for episode three, and we have a treat for you today. We have Manette's very own Teacher of the Year, Miss Stephanie Torre. Welcome, Stephanie. Hi, how are you guys? We're great. It just, you know, it seems like it was just yesterday when we were celebrating your honor of being Manette's very first oh, Teacher no. of the Year. So, for real, it's still unreal. It's well, still unreal. <laughs> tell us about that day. Um... It's just crazy. Every time I think about it, it still gives me chills because it's just unbelievable. I never thought that will happen. Um, that Friday, I remember it was just everything was kind of odd because it was in the regular f uh, Friday morning routine and everyone's acting weird. And they were like, okay, go help in the cafeteria. And I was heading to the cafeteria and they were like, no, 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 don't go to the cafeteria. So I was like, what is going on? <laughs> like, it was just kind of odd. And then during the assembly, uh, Ms. Wells and Ms. Kate were trying to talk to me about an email and I was like, wait, normally we pay attention, we are engaged and I was like, why? And we already discussed that email so it was just kind of odd and I was like, what is happening? And then I just heard you start talking and then I heard my name and I was like, what What in the world? So it's just like, I don't know, it was st it's still unreal and it was just really exciting just to see my family there celebrating and all my school family celebrating and then of course I couldn't stop crying. And just thinking about it, it's like, oh, I just want to cry again, you know. Um, but then one of the things that I'll never forget whenever you were asking everyone, hey, stand up if if uh, Miss Tori has helped you in any way. And like just seeing everyone standing, it was just like, oh, so, I don't know, it was overwhelming. And just, I remember this student's face. Um, he was so excited to stand up and he had a big, huge smile on his face. And I'm like, oh, my gosh, that's definitely a day I, wouldn't, I won't forget. Awesome. Well, I love that seeing all the kids, you know, stand helped you just reflect and be reminded yes. that you are making a huge impact on yes. so many teachers. I remember teachers standing yes. and that's what got me emotional yes. because, um, you know, the, the teachers get so much from you and so do the kids. Uh -huh. And, you know, you are one of our tribe teachers yes. and um, I'm going to ask you a little bit about that, but you work with um, certain students. And so I bet that was even more powerful because you saw almost all of the students in yes. the school stand. Yes, it was just unreal. And just like the teachers. And then, of course, I was crying and then I saw the teachers crying and I was like, oh, my gosh, we're all going to be crying. But it's just <laughs> overwhelming. And it was really cool to see. Yeah. Good tears. So you are one of our tribe teachers. You're yes. actually the tribe team leader. Okay. So tell us what tribe means. So tribe means to reach and inspire beyond expectations. So one of the things that I we do as a tribe team, we just go into different classrooms from kinder to fifth grade and we support the students, the teachers, we collaborate with them. Uh, we support them in inclusion or resource classroom. Um, and then I also, one of the things that I do as part of my job is going to meetings, um, learning from my peers, collaborating with them, planning activities for the students. Um, and yeah. You are you are busy. Um, and that's why, you know, it's a testament to all those students that you saw stand because yes. the kids love when Miss Torre <laughs> yes. comes in. They love with, when any tribe teachers yes. come into their classroom. Um, you're also working on your master's degree. Yes. So tell us a little bit about that and how do you juggle it all? Well, that's a good question. Um, yes. So one of the things that I just, it just pops to my head is post-its <laughs> all over my desk. Um, cause I mean, it helps me remember things and remember the due dates cause I don't like missing due dates. Um, but one of the things that I do, I normally just check when my, my class is. So based on what day my class is, I just do every other day for schoolwork or teaching work. Um, and then I just, I don't know, I just kind of do that. And then if there's a lot going on, I just always rely on my post-its everywhere. I have them all over my desk and I just keep on like, I don't know, it's just satisfying to tear them up because I know that I was done with that task. Um, but yeah, just, I don't know. I feel like another thing that it's really good that helps me a lot is that I really enjoy my job. 
So it keeps me positive even whenever I'm, I can be overwhelmed with all the paperwork, schoolwork and all. And it's just like, I enjoy my job and I come to school and it's like, oh, I love this place, you know, like, and it just kind of flushes away. You can tell, we all can tell. Um, you didn't tell us what is your master's degree in? Oh, my master's degree is in school counselor to later on be able to be a licensed professional counselor. That is awesome. Yeah. I love that. And I know you collaborate quite a bit with our counselor, Mrs. Reynolds. Yes, I do. I do. Awesome. Okay. So before I let you go, um, tell us what is your favorite thing about teaching at Manette? Oh gosh, that is a really hard question because I pretty much love everything. Just like the teachers, the students, like the atmosphere that you feel here, you know, like I, whenever I was thinking about this question, I was like, I feel like it's like Disney World. Whenever you walk in here, there's a feeling that you just cannot explain. And it's like, you're always smiling even whenever you're stressed or there's something that didn't work out. You're always smiling. It's just a Disney World feeling here. <laughs> I don't know. I love it. It's just pretty cool. I mean, who wouldn't want to go to school right. and feel and that? Feel <laughs> um, you know, I, I will tell the listeners, it was just about a week ago when I was up here late for an after school event and I think it was about 8 30 p.m. when I had to force you to go yes. home <laughs> yeah I was here working yep you're yep. always giving it your all okay yes. so on the Manette podcast we yes. like to end each episode with a little fun yes so yeah. today we're going to play <laughs> rapid word association okay I will give you a word and you reply with the first word that comes to mind oh gosh I'm ready and you haven't seen these words nope. so here we go okay School. Students. Family. Love. Beach. Relaxing. Travel. Ooh, adventure. Eat. Yummy food. <laughs> Drink. Um, peaceful. Relax. As my bed. <laughs> uh, okay, so, oh, one last one. Manette. Oh, love. Aww. Okay, so listeners, you probably don't know this, but Miss Torre um, is from Mexico. She yes. still goes back <laughs> all the time to visit her family. She um, finds so much joy, I know, yes, in going trouble. back and traveling there. She always brings us all kinds of fun treats. And so when I wrote the words, I was going to try to get you to say Mexico. Oh, I thought I <laughs> family or beach or travel. Yes. And, you didn't say Mexico. I don't know. I just love traveling the world, you know. It's so awesome. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much for joining us today. And thank you for everything you do for our students, staff, and families, yeah, Ms. Torre. No problem. Awesome. It. Bye. Bye. If you are hearing this message, you've listened to the entire episode. And for that, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts. We hope you enjoyed this new episode. And if you did, Please leave us a like on YouTube and be sure to hit subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook too.